Should a seller obtain a termite letter on their home before they list it? So a little update for listeners. In the past, all homes that had mortgages in place, the lender would require a termite letter. Uh, Over the last 10, 15 years, however long it was, conventional lenders actually removed the requirement for having a termite letter. VA loans, FHA loans still require a termite letter. And so uh, in, in the past, all sellers had to provide a termite letter, but today they don't, and most of them do not. What are your thoughts on whether or not it makes sense for a seller, someone selling their home here in Metro Atlanta, to get a termite letter in advance of listing the home? You've got the stipulation where if you know about it, you got to fix it. Yeah. So I think that as a seller, it's going to be more, it's up to the seller, right? Um, I think that a lot of the times it's really, the, the problems are going to fall on the buyer. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's not necessary that a seller gets a letter yep. or has any sort of inspection, but it's always the best practice. So let me um, ask you this, Alex, if you and Ethan, let me let me direct this to Ethan. Ethan, if you were out buying a home and you decided, boy, this is a house, I want to make an offer on this. And let's just say that as you got ready to prepare your offer package, the listing agent sent you maybe a home inspection that had already been done on the home. Maybe they sent you a copy of a termite letter that either showed it was free and clear, or maybe there was some damage that had already been taken care of. And then maybe they sent you a survey, and maybe they sent you a list of things the seller loved most about the house. Wouldn't that make you more comfortable to move forward in putting an offer on that house? Absolutely, especially since I've been in you know the pest control business for a while. That's the first thing I want to know. I want to know if there's any uh, previous damage, what kind of bonds you have in place. And then really those termite letters that we write aren't just for termites, they're wood infestation reports. So that's for, you know, I'm looking at mold, I'm looking at fungus, I'm looking at beetles. So th- those are like the big things that I, I would look at when I'm buying them. There are several different types of coverage. Would you talk to us about the types of coverage and then the warranty that goes along with it? So the the coverage that we are offering, you've got two different kinds. You have the repair, right. which is the golden, you know, warranty. Okay. You have uh, retreat only, which is usually offered on homes where there's too many conducive conditions, too much damage previous, uh, too much active termite. Right. It depends. So that's always going to be up to the discretion of the uh, inspector. Yeah. Uh, now, we did have a, a slight change in our contracts for the repair warranties. Um, if you are doing a liquid treatment, which some people still do, um, that treatment is only going to cover the subterranean termite okay um it will not cover repairs for any sort of formosan termite which is slowly making its way from florida to georgia so centricon will cover all of them so centricon is proving to be one of the best treatments you can get on the market okay Um, and a lot of companies are just putting everything they have behind it because it does a really good job how often if you have liquid treatments how often does your house get inspected and if you have uh, baiting stations. How often does your house get it? How, how often does your home get inspected for termites? Uh, so for liquid, we come out once a year. We okay. check everything. Uh, Centricon would be the same thing. We come out, we inspect once a year, but we're also inspecting those bait stations that we have around the Centricon around. So we're checking them, checking for any damage, see if the termites have eaten them, right. see if there's any moisture damage to them, and then replacing the ones that need to be replaced. In the past, those baiting stations didn't really have any insecticide in them. Uh, but I but I understand today they do. So if if termites come into the baiting station, then they'll be taking the the poison, if you will, back to the rest of the. Uh, well, they'll be sharing it with their buddies. That's right. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's exactly how it's designed to work. You want them to live long enough for them to bring it back to the colony. I call the Centricon baiting system a colony el- elimination system. So it, it wipes them out on your property. 